Today, Christian Sadler is going to be our instructor. He's a, an amazing person, always nice to be around, very, very uplifting. He has done so much for our community, for the community at large. He is a very charitable person and loving and, and wanting to make sure that everything is better in, in his, uh, around him, wherever he is. And uh, this morning, he's going to make us better by being here and helping us raise our game in, the, in marketing our real estate or education with Renatus. Good morning, Christian. How are you? I'm great, Ron. How are you? Doing fantastic. Let me send the, the controls your way. There we go, sir. Perfect. Thank you so much for, uh, for everything that you do. I'm getting some feedback. Let me see if that goes away. And uh, if not, I'm going to have to call in with my phone. So let's see. How am I sounding now? Sounding really good, Christian. Okay, perfect, perfect. So folks, uh, the one thing that I want to first hit on, and actually I feel like I'm still getting a lot of feedback. So let me just uh, try something. All right, hold tight, folks. I'm going to switch over to my phone because I don't see anybody off of mute, so that means the feedback is coming from me. So let me switch over here to phone. While Christian is, let me turn my radio, to my phone down now. Um, while Christian is getting ready, we've got, uh, I wanted to come back and review Hawaii. I think I messed that one up. We've got uh, two All right, separate All right. points. All right, Christian, take it away. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Thank you so much. So I think that cleared up the, uh, the feedback here, and hopefully I'm coming across fine for everybody else. But one thing I want to first really hit on here, and thank you, Ryan, by the way, for texting in that it's kind of fine on your end. I was not going to be able to stick with it uh, with that echo coming back on my end because it was uh, just very distracting. So first thing that I wanted to focus on is we have a Christmas party coming up here in Utah. So on Tuesday, uh, we have our Christmas party, and here's what we've done. I want to clarify this for all of you that are here in Utah. Uh, if you're not here in Utah, then you're going to want to make friends with somebody that's here in Utah if you plan on coming. And because here's the deal. We've been trying to figure out how can we do this. We're not charging for this event uh, for the IMAs, but we don't want to go overboard too much where everybody, you know, invites uh, all the cousins and, and uh, um, you know, siblings and and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, it is a, a fairly large cost that we put out on all the events that we do. And, uh, but at the same time, you guys all deserve it, right? You guys are all uh, here. You're on the business builder fee. You're making things happen. So here's what we're doing. When you come tonight to the Thursday presentation, we're going to have physical tickets for you. So for every single person that's there tonight, uh, that is an IMA, right? You have to be 
and IMA, so you've got to be, you know, a part of the business builder. And uh, what you can do is you can actually pick up free physical tickets. So a ticket for yourself and two tickets for guests. And then after that, if you want to bring anybody additional, we welcome it. Uh, it's just going to be a $25 card, and you're just going to do that through uh, the calendar. So the calendar is already set up to do so. So, again, come tonight if for any reason you were thinking that you might take tonight off. Uh, tonight's not the night to take off because this is your opportunity to get your ticket for the Christmas party. So be there uh, tonight in Utah. Get your three, uh, your three passes and come um, celebrate the holidays with us here this coming Tuesday. Now, following that also is on the night, we have our Super Saturday training, and uh, we've got some special stuff for you guys. I'm going to go through some things that uh, have made me some really good money, and it's very simple uh, things that didn't cost me a thing. Now, cost is not something that I factor in. I'm not looking for free stuff, right? I'm not necessarily, I mean, I will spend money in my business, but at the same time, if there is ways that you can get out there and engage in your business without spending substantial amounts of money, would you want to know how to do it? I think the answer is yes, and I'm going to show that to you guys on tonight. So, those are two big events coming up, so I want to make sure you understand. Specifically, I wanted to make sure you understood that tonight is when we're giving the physical tickets away. It's three per IMA. So you get one for you and uh, two for guests. And uh, that's that. So with that, folks, let's move on to the training. And I really want to have this today more of a mastermind than a training. And what I would like to do is I would like to give you guys the opportunity to come out and share what book that you've went through recently that has made the most impact in your life. And I, I will start this off just so you kind of understand, you know, where I'm going. And I'm going to do my best to be brief with mine, uh, even though I can go on and on and on and on. Right? So there's uh, there's two books um, that have really helped me level up in the last little while. And uh, so the first book is um, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Okay. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. An amazing book. And then from that, so just to give you guys an idea, I actually went through that, I think four times in a row. Like I just, I just kept putting it on repeat. So my, my daily commutes and my, you know, driving and, you know, the different things that I was doing, uh, I had that planning and going through it. And then I, after that, uh, I came across Ask and It Is Given uh, by, um, who is it? Esther Hicks, I believe. So Ask and It Is Given. And that one I went through. And then I went through it again. And then I actually text Michael and I said, hey, this is awesome. This is only part one, though. Can we get part two? I'll ben, I'll Venmo you the money. Just let me know how much it is. And uh, so he got part two in there, which is the processes. And let me let me help you guys understand. Both of these books were focused around um, the the your emotional set point and how that is attracting your reality. So they're both focused around the. Um, the law of attraction, and it's it's much more deeper into the science behind it in Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, and then it's you know more of the spiritual side of it in uh, Esther Hicks's book, or I guess it's Abraham Hicks. So um, really, what I got from it, folks, is paying attention to that emotional set point at any time and how. We oftentimes think that we are in an emotion of uh, desiring the thing when, that we want, but oftentimes we're actually in an emotional set point of frustration of what we don't have. And so this is very powerful to pay attention to these, to learn what these different emotions feel like, to learn 
what it truly means to be in appreciation for that which we have and appreciation for that what we want as if we already had it. When you can live into that emotion, you will live into those actions and you will achieve, you will uh, receive, you will, uh, you, you know, you will be compensated directly from the universe because of your emotional set point and how you interact with the world. Because if you are focused on and you are acting as if, guess what? The universe will give you what you are acting as if. So that, uh, those two books have been super powerful for me. I would love to hear from you guys what is, and I want you to come out here only if you have one in mind, that really impacted you, that really made a difference. And, and uh, I want you to talk about what it was. Hopefully it's in the Audible, because all of these ones that I'm sharing are in the Audible, right? Um, and why it made such a difference for you. So I'm going to give you the opportunity right now. If you can come off mute, go ahead. Good morning, Christian. Hey, Wendy. How are you? So one of the books that made a difference for me um, is The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And there's lots of little things in there, but the one thing that the golden rule of habit change, that you can't extinguish a bad habit, you can only change it. That's um, huge for me. So I just want to share that. Oh, I love that. It's so true. You can't. You can't get rid of a habit. You can only replace it with a more productive habit, right? Correct. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. All right. Who else wants to come on out? All right. Who else wants to come on out? Christian, Ron here. Hey, we've got uh, a couple books there that I've really enjoyed. GoPro, which uh, these are these are some of the basics, but I think they've made the biggest difference to me. GoPro and Go for No. Okay, tell me, go a little bit deeper into that. So give, give us a couple of highlights or you know really impactful points that came across that made a difference for you. Okay, and in, in GoPro. It was talking, uh, the thing that really rang with me was that I didn't have to be perfect at everything, <clears throat> excuse me, but uh, to be a professional and uh, a really good inviter, p invite people to the events that we've got going on. And I thought that that really just kind of distilled it right down to some of the essence, especially when, when someone's brand new in the business. business. And then uh, go for no, it's... Uh, it's easy to stop once we reach that yes. And if we're going for no and reaching that goal, we're going to get the yeses along the way. Very cool. And you're absolutely right. And especially, Ron, with the system that we have here in Elevate, with how much us leaders have put into uh, learning and understanding the sales process and, uh, you know, what motivates people and how to, uh, effectively get people out of their own way, take action on this information that literally changes their lives. You don't have to be an expert in everything. If you guys can be good inviters, you will make a ton of money. So you're absolutely right with that, and I love it. Go the extra mile. Don't don't focus on that yes. Focus on how many no's you can get. So thanks for sharing that. Who else wants to come on out? Wanda. Hey, Wanda. Hi. Hey, Wanda. Um, I just reviewed um, Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And mm -hmm. it's very awesome because even though this is kind of a bestseller and a, like a classic, and it helped me to understand the different characteristics of things that I need to either improve or have 
to be more effective. And I, I just read it and it was fun to review it. I, I have read it before, but I just went through it again and it just put many things back in perspective. Very cool. Is there something in there that specifically sticked out to you that made a difference in your life or your business? Um, sure. Let me um, look. Um, one of the things that impacted the, me the most is like the second habit is being with the end in mind. So it's like if you stay focused on your end in mind, like right now I have a goal to finish my year with over 100,000 this year. I need to stay focused on that and I need to um, do the activities that I need to complete to make it. And I I'm, I'm, have to say that I saw a combo yesterday, last night, a cash combo, and I, I am only one more combo away from my goal. So this year, and I can make it. But it's because I'm focused and I'm, there's nothing that is gonna distract me from getting to that, because my mind is set to that end. That is so cool, Wanda, and uh, I'm always inspired by you. I think you are such a, uh, a great example of just going out there and doing it, just taking the action and making it happen. So thank yeah. you for sharing. I just look at my, uh, at my genealogy and I have 59 people on my team. Yes. Nice. Very cool. All right. Who's next? Who else wants to share? Kristen, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Hey, it's Nancy. How are you doing today? I am wonderful. Good. Well, I finished a book called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. And it was mm -hmm. really an amazing book because it was written over 70 some odd years ago. But his wife wouldn't let him publish it because she was afraid of the backlash that they would get. So it was finally published a few years ago. And the premise of the story is that Napoleon Hill is um, interviewing the devil on how he collects his souls. And I think the part that was so interesting for me was because the devil kept saying, if you don't have a definitive purpose, then you just drift in your mind. So the whole kind of premise was, was to figure out what it is that you want and to go for it and have definite of, of what you want in life and where you're going. Otherwise, you're just adrift and you're up for grabs, basically. Oh, such a good book. Yes, <laughs> definiteness of purpose is so key. And I uh, appreciate you sharing that. I think everybody on the line uh, should go through Napoleon Hill's works. And that uh, starts with Think You Grow Rich, but there's many other books that are very, very powerful. A definiteness of purpose is something that shows up time and time again uh, as one of the anchor points of having a productive life. So. Thank you for sharing. That's awesome. We have three more minutes. So we have about time for two more people to share. And what we're sharing right now, folks, is a book that has impacted your life recently and uh, what the book was and what you got out of it. You know, it's, uh, maybe a key specific point that impacted your life in a major way. Hi, Kristen. This is Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Hey. <laughs> yeah, the book that um, I've recently been listening to on Audible is The Five Second Rule and, um, by Mel Robinson. And it has been amazing for me because um, we, we have these um, thoughts in our minds and or definitions or you know, prompts to do something and act upon those things, but sometimes we won't act upon them. And she was mm -hmm. just talking about how if the five second rule, you know, the five second rule is where you, if you drop something and you can pick it up and eat it within five seconds, but that's not exactly how it works. 
Um, but what she was saying is if you count backwards, you go five, four, three, two, one, it actually changes something in your brain and then it opens your frontal cortex, which will help you act upon something. For example, um, I had a person that I've been thinking about a lot and inviting her down. And um, I one day was just driving and I'm like, I am just going to call her. So I did five, four, three, two, one, and I just dialed the phone and she come down and she's interested now, but it helped me to overcome that fear by just saying five, four, three, two, on whatever that um, thought is, and I move forward. And so it's helped me move forward. It's also been really um, instrumental with my daughter. My daughter, I just, I told her about it. And so now she does it, and now she uses it on me, you know, which is kind of funny because she's like, let's go work out. And I'm like, I don't want to go work out. And she goes, five, four, three, two, one, let's do it. And so then um, we've been getting up and going and doing it. So it's been, it's been very instrumental in my life. And um, she is a great book, great listen, very inspiring to me. So I recommend anybody to listen to that. Thanks. Yeah, that is so cool. I've never been through that one, but that sounds like a powerful concept. And uh, kudos to your daughter. Yes. Yes. Cool. All right, one more. Who wants to be okay, the last hi, one? Okay, uh, hi, Christian. This is Noreen Jensen. Hey, Maureen. How are you doing today? Hey, um, well, my husband and I, Chris, went to wonder the other night the movie and it's also a book and they're reading it in the schools and the basic concept is about kindness and i used the quotations i wanted to just write it while i was at the movie the quotations but i looked them up and i used them as a theme for toastmasters yesterday as table topics master and that movie is so impactful i mean it's like we've just kind of forgotten and I know the things you do with humanitarian efforts how that impacts people's lives for good and I just wanted to share that get the book uh, go to the movie take your families it's a good uplifting movie about how to be kinder and I just it's changed my life thanks for allowing me to share yeah, of course. So what's one specific uh, key point that uh, that impacted your life about that book or movie? Um, to look past people's uh, physical deformities and challenges that they might be having in their lives and to just really um, get involved in that unconditional love of, of all people. And to just be a friend, and that will help you in your business as well. My dad's favorite book is How to Win Friends and Influence People. He's 83, going on 84 years old, and that's his favorite book. And his dad's favorite book was um, was one by James Allen, As a Man Thinketh. So these books are classics, and they all tie together as far as People need to be validated and acknowledged and recognized, as we've well seen in our, uh, even on Super Saturdays, clear to the national conferences. Absolutely. Very cool. Well, I appreciate every single one of you sharing. Thank you, Noreen, for sharing that one about kindness. I uh, appreciate everybody that was willing to come out on the call. I know there's probably more of you that are kind of pending and you would love to share and so since uh, I've got to jump off this call onto another call, here's what I would suggest. If you didn't get a chance to share, and there is one book that has really impacted your life in a major way, go jump into the, the uh, Elevate Facebook group and uh, go post it in there. Just go give yourself, give a little bit of commentary on, uh, you know, here's a book that I read recently and the impact that it made on my life. So share that stuff. I appreciate everybody that was able to share on this call. Let's go out there and make it happen. It's game day.